Hey everyone, what's up? It's the random name 951 bringing you another quick video. And today, um, uh, I'm gonna do a video on some Legos I got. Uh, reason for, um, on eBay searching up a little set that I saw at, um, I believe it was at Toys R Us. And, uh, it was a cheap set, it was like around $4.99. I was like, oh shoot, they're all gone, you know, so I bought the whole damn thing. <coughs> so, um, took a look on eBay. And I found a similar set, but it, <coughs> it's actually kind of different. Um, actually, uh, found it at Walmart, and th uh, this is how it looks. It's the police ATV. Now, um, the thing is, the one I saw at Toys R Us for four ninety nine was just a poly bag of the ATV cop in his little ATV. And uh, with this one, you get a little extra mini figure and a little wheelbarrow um, with him carrying some jewels. And I'll show you how how that looks real quick. So here he is in his little ATV. Um, pretty cool. Like how the officer looks. He has a little hat and he has a. He, this one actually comes with a little walkie-talkie, and I just put some spare uh, the spare parts on the walkie-talkie so you know they weren't lying around. And it comes with I think an extra handcuff as well, but I left that in the box. And surprisingly, there's actually an error with uh, that Lego because um, it's supposed to come with two separate white pieces, but instead it came with one whole one. But actually, I like it better like this, so I don't have to like worry about the two pieces, like you know, just being all weird and stuff. So it actually worked out pretty good. Um, but yeah, uh, that set. Oh, let me show you the other guy real quick. And here's the little rubber guy. So here he is. He has a little crowbar and his little wheelbarrow and the little rubber wheel, which is pretty cool, and the jewels inside. And that right there is about uh, I think a seven ninety nine. Seven dollars and ninety nine cents set. Now, honestly, that is. I think that's pretty expensive. Um, something like that should be like five bucks, you know. Um, it's a little bigger than my Lego City little, what you call it, rescue surf set, which I thought was a good deal. It was like six, six ninety nine, six. Yeah, it was like six ninety nine at Toys R Us, and usually Toys R Us is more expensive, but. Uh, when you look around, uh, Legos are about the same price. They might be a couple cents more, a couple cents less here and there. And um, so I was looking for that again on eBay, and I actually saw it. And uh, I saw the price. I was like, this can't be true. So I decided to take a little chance on it and actually uh, buy it. And uh, I know it's going to be hard to believe, but basically this packaging cost me sixty-one cents. Um, they packaged it with these little airbags, and, uh, fortunately, because how they packaged it, they damaged it a little bit, or this is how it was in their shipment, or how before they shipped it, you can see the, the box is pretty damaged, but, I mean, overall, that's, that's pretty damn good, um, well, you're about to see why, I think it's pretty damn good, um, this was the price for how much I paid for it, let me just check, there's none of my crazy information here, and, alright, so, uh, they have a couple more, but um, here it is: Lego City Police ATV 006006, all that stuff. And um, here it is. Let me try zoom in better. So it's brand new. The set cost me three oh one, and shipping cost me sixty four cents. The total was three dollars and sixty five cents. Now that's how much Lego should cost, but <laughs> unfortunately they don't. Um, and even there is a price tag on here saying six ninety five, which that's that's not bad. I would have still bought that. But, um, you know, I think that's pretty good. Shipping took like about a week or so. You know, I mean, this is 64 cents shipping, you know. And I'm surprised they put it in the box they did. But this was through FedEx. And I know if you were to do this through, um, through like USPS, you know, that right there would be like 5 to $6 shipping just because of the size of the package, you know. Probably like maybe maybe a lot, uh, around like four to five dollars, but still sixty one cents. So I mean, um, I was kind of skeptical. I was thinking, you know, they're probably going, you know, it's not going to be in box and it's going to have the plastic, uh, you know, like the poly bags taken out and put them in like a little, you know, package or something. But I was quite surprised. Um, but I'm I'm pretty sure that it was damaged by how the by how the airbags are put in here. I mean, overall, this is, I, I feel like this is a real good deal. I might pick up another one. I mean, 
that's no tax for me. It was no tax. So, you know, basically I could buy three of these for the price of one that would um, you would get Walmart or um, Target, Toys R Us, wherever. I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, he has a couple other sets. Uh, but that was the, this was the best deal he had. Um, he has like, like some Chima ones, Lego Chima or Chima, whatever you want to call it. He has a couple Lego City ones, but the prices do not compare to how, <laughs> how cheap this one was. <clears throat> I think he was selling it so cheap because how it was damaged. Or, I don't know. I doesn't, I, I feel like it was damaged when they, uh, put the little airbag in. But I mean, what's really mind boggling is the how much the shipping costs. I mean, sixty four cents. Like that's that's just shoot. I wish shipping costs like that for all of you know everything that I had to sell so I could ship out to you know to my uh, to my buyers. But um, yeah, that was just a quick little video um, about a little Lego City uh, set I got for you know a damn good deal I would say for myself. Um, and that's about it, guys. Uh, I don't think I got anything else to show. Uh, recently, all I got was some Lego Bionicle pins, which I've been trying to collect too. Pretty awesome pins, pretty neat. Unfortunately, they don't come up very often. And um, you know, on freaking Amazon news, they're like like twenty five dollars. I got these for like about seven. This is probably my favorite one um, so far is the uh, a Noah a newer one, the one with the little old school Bionicles. Nicer box than the one with the, the bar rack. But, um, the bar rack is pretty cool because it comes like with a little baby mask and you can put it on the Toa's face right there. That's pretty awesome, actually. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it for now. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to post some more videos soon. I'm hoping I'm buying a, another Gundam soon. So I'll be, if I do buy it, I will be doing an unboxing, most likely. Depends, depends. But yeah, guys, uh, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.